What's up you guys? I'm Tesly and in today's video we have a good one. I am I did some shopping and if you are not new to my channel you know that I have had like this long ban on like shopping because I didn't have like a very healthy relationship with shopping let's put it that way so i had to go into the rehab and just sort myself out now now i have a much better understanding of my style what i like and also the gaps that i need to fill in my wardrobe so i went online did some shopping and i thought i would try them out with you guys these for full disclosure like full transparency i'm not going to keep all of these items this is just so i can try things out see if i like them and then the only the things that i really really like that i'm going to get a bunch of wear out of those are the things that i'm keeping but maybe you see something in this video that you will like to get your for yourself as well so i'll link them below but yeah i have my knife here ready so let's just start unboxing i'm not going in any particular order uh, but i'm starting with this one this is uh, a package from cost and the good thing that i you know what i love also about my relationship with shopping is that for example i've um, ordered these items a few weeks ago now and i haven't unboxed them because i wanted to do it for the video so it's like really exciting to me you know in the past i used to order so many things and i'm like it doesn't even it's not even exciting and i think that fashion should remain exciting to us so really looking forward to, to see what are the pieces that i got how i mean i know what i got but to feel the textures to try them on and see if they agree with my style and with my body shape all right so the first item we have here is this turtleneck that i got from cos it's a very light material so you might think turtleneck why are you buying a turtleneck right now but it's a very light material so it's even like a little bit see-through but i wanted something that i can easily layer like use as a layering piece for spring something that i can also wear like for fall and even winter as a layering piece so yeah i'm very curious to see how this actually fits on me and the price was actually pretty good it's like 50 euros and i got a size small and this is actually from wools it's like a wool blend if i'm let me check real quick oh it's a hundred percent wool that took a little bit but it's a hundred percent wool so you know you guys know i love my natural materials so hopefully this is also an item that will wash and stay nice so this is uh, the turtleneck from Cos, and this is exactly what I was looking for. You can see that it is a little bit see-through, you can see my bra underneath it, but that's not saying anything about the quality because the quality is actually very, very nice, very stretchy, and I love that it has like the raw hems. And also, if you are very tall, this is good news for you because the sleeves are very long. But because it's such a thin material, even like for me, I can like scrunch it up a little bit like that and it will still look very nice. The turtleneck is also very nice and stretchy. This is not itchy at all. Wool is has like a reputation sometimes to be itchy, but this is like super soft. Again, very breathable. For wool, this is like a very breathable, I would say, kind of material that you can wear you can wear in different seasons also it is very long so again if you are taller than me you can definitely go for this one because it will not be like a crop kind of situation for you but you can like tuck it in and it will look like you're wearing like a bodysuit super nice and seamless also in the back you can see you can see a little bit of my bra which i think sometimes can be very cute and a little bit sexy if you're wearing it on its own like this but i can also layer it so let me grab a blazer real quick so yeah um i for me blazers dress up everything <laughs> so if i wear it like this you know with a nice blazer letting this part 
show a little bit like this. I think this is a very business appropriate look even though it is a little bit see-through here but you can you know finesse it a little bit with a blazer and then when it's happy hour you take off the blazer and it's party <laughs> the next item i got is this trench coat and i wanted to see how this fits because i saw it also in a navy color and i wasn't sure well the navy was sold out either way but I was more on the lookout for a navy trench coat because I have something in this color like from Everlane it is like more of that the darker beige brown almost brown kind of uh, color but it is like a very thin material so I wanted something more sturdy with a little bit more structure so I thought let me just order this try it out and see if I like it a if I like the the cut and the fit of it and also the color all right let's get into this trench coat and this is looking in the mirror right here this oh my god this quality is sick you guys this is such good quality like cause is coming through with the pieces because oh this looks so good this looks this looks very good and this belt what i love about it is that it's a little bit it's thick so it's not like those skinny belts that you sometimes, you know, you get. I'll have to tie that better, but you get the idea. I love that it has the flap in the back. It has like the little things here on the shoulders. It has also here like a, a buckle like detail. And this color is so classic. Like it's almost that classic like Burberry kind of. A trench coat color it's really really very similar to that i love it and it's very long for me it's like like really maxi for me on the model it wasn't that long of course but i love for my trench coats to be like that maxi length that you know it's for my taste it can even be a little bit longer but this is like a very good length that you won't like trip or anything if you're like you know walking a flight of stairs and yeah it even, it even has this, this flap these lapels it's so good it's super super nice and it's that material that will keep you warm but it's not like super thick of course it's not like a wool coat but it still will keep you somewhat warm Sometimes you get, you get trench coats that are there just for show. This is not it. This is def, this will definitely serve as like that extra layer of warmth if you are, you know, of course, that's the reason why you wear a coat like this, in my opinion at least. So functional and beautiful. This is from Skims. Oh no, it's from it's from Essence, but I bought some Skims and some Frankie Shop and i wanted to get everybody is raving about the skims bodysuit or not the bodysuit the jumpsuit and i love a good like jumpsuit like this i don't like the jumpsuits that are like like a dress kind of thing i mean it's not that i don't like the look it's just for me for my body type it's like so difficult to find a good one and for in this stretchy material which like sucks you in and it's like more form-fitting i think it will be you know something that can fit me properly so we'll see we'll see when we try this on but i really hope that it fits right because i truly think that this is my style you know to style it with like a blazer with like a bomber jacket with like trench coat so many ways that you can style a plain jumpsuit like this okay this body and i have uh, some mixed feelings <laughs> i'm not really fond of what it's doing like right here and also the legs are like super super long for me i i can get that fix it's like a quick fix at the tailor but the material of this is like very very nice i also love that it has like a, again a, like the same as the cos uh turtleneck has like a raw hem kind of thing so it has like some stitching here and then some a raw hem right there i also love the neckline it love that it's like super high also with the raw hem right here it's super easy to take on and off so that's not the thing that's like you know bothering me or anything but i i thought that the fit would be nicer 
if I'm completely honest, I thought it would suck me in a little bit more. So maybe I should go a size down because there is like a lot of room and the sizing of skins is like so crazy sometimes to figure out so i i'm not sure in either case this one this size is not it so maybe i'll try the extra small and see how that one fits if it fits me a little bit nicer but it is very comfortable that i would agree and it's also a nice one seat to wear inside of the home if you work from home something like that but also you can definitely dress this up some boots some high knee like knee boots or something bomber jacket big blazer so there are so, so many cute ways to style this but this size is not doing it for me unfortunately because i was really looking forward to like this particular piece and then i got this waistcoat from frankie shop oh by the way you guys i got this bodysuit in a size medium and this waistcoat I got in a small and I saw this on Emma, Emma Hill and I thought it looked beautiful and this is such like a classic tailored piece so I'm not fully like sold on this yet it really depends on how it fits me but I really want to experiment more with you know some basics that are a little bit elevated I have like most of the true basics covered so now I want to elevate my basics a little bit more to you know experiment a little bit more with my style as well okay so this one is a no for me <laughs> I think this material is beautiful but the fit is not really going with my body shape with my arms I don't know I just feel like it's not doing what it is you know what I see on pictures it's not really doing it for me I even like cinched it in at the back actually from the side when I look at it it's like super cute even though I you know on here on the side you can see like my bra and stuff I just don't think that the fit of this is agreeing with my body shape that's what I think it is about so I'm not giving up on the vest quite yet because I do think that there is something that we can work with but just this one this one is not it I think the color is beautiful. This is just a color, a very neutral color that you can wear with so many things. But yeah, this is unfortunately going back. But the way that I saw it on Emma, I was like, that's the vision. <laughs> it doesn't work with me. And we have, I mean, to be fair, we have completely different uh, body shapes. So, but still, I'm glad that I tried it out. All right, moving on to Uniqlo. This is like, uh, a pair of pants that I wanted to get because I I want sometimes I love my white leg pants and I also love to wear jeans but sometimes I want a little bit more of a tailored look and I don't have any trousers in that category and secondly also in the in the navy color I don't have any pants in, in navy so i think that navy pairs so beautifully with like creams and and with a lot of different colors but especially cream and navy is like just my favorite like when i see it styled on other people so hopefully this will fit me this is the um i got it in a waist 28 29 and it's the women's smart ankle trousers Oh, it's in a size medium, but size medium is a waist 28 to 29 inches. And this is, how much was this? I don't have the receipt, but I'll link everything below, of course. Um, but this, this is a super affordable um, basic. Okay, so these pants are exactly what I was like envisioning. However, the length is off and also in the back I need, it needs to get fixing I'll show, show you in the cutaways um, better but the color is like beautiful I mean navy is very straightforward of course but the fit is nice 
The material is uh, very comfortable and very like it looks like you know that non iron kind of material so that's like very convenient and yeah so I'm still I'm, I'm thinking about uh, because the price is very good and the fit is not bad because it, pants like these like from the store I have no luck with them fitting me you know right you know good from the get-go so either way I'll have to get the, them tailored no matter what place I get them and this is a good price and I think it's a good quality as well those are the things that I look at if it's like worth it to get something tailored so yeah but I, the fit is the fit of the legs especially is like super super flattering and I love for them to be like a little bit right on the ankles so I can wear them with loafers like this and I can wear them with boots I can also wear them with sandals so yeah, these are the dressy pants that I was looking for, I think. So definitely with some tweaking here and there, we can make it work. Okay, I also got a couple of things from Arquette. Actually, these are the only things that I got from Arquette. Guys, I've been on the lookout for a black clover for like months now and I'm just not sure. But these are the ones that I got from Arquette. I got them in a size 36 and they are not cheap actually. 180 euros. But they are real leather made in Portugal and they have like this thick sole like a little bit chunky and i can see that they are like a tots kind of dupe you can see in the front so but the proof is in the pudding so when i put this on i'll be able to like determine if these are a rate or a hate and i got the package uh, well i got this on farfetch and this is another loafer that i thought can be a contender in my black loafer journey oh these are these are nice i i saw it right away right away these are beautiful let me show you all right these ones are a little bit more pricey though they are 234 well they were 335 but they, they uh, were on sale so i got them 100 euros off and I really hope they fit me because they didn't have a size 6, they only have a, had a size 5 and I know with loafers, I love for the loafers to be a little bit snug on the foot so and sometimes brands run big but yeah, on the first look, like if you can see, you can compare the two what I love about this one from Reformation is the sole. You can see it's like much rougher and edgier and also the leather is a little bit shinier which makes it like so much more elevated. This one looks a little bit grandpa-ish if I'm you know super honest with you. The thing that it has like on the on the front, so right here, it like it's like exactly almost exactly the same as this one and Tots has like this very similar thing so this is definitely you know channeling Tots um, I tried on some Tots uh, loafers as well um, if I can if I can remember I'll insert the clips but one of the loafers from Tots I really really liked but of course Tots is a little bit more higher in price and i'm not i'm not sure if i want to spend that amount on a loafer yet because i don't i'm not 100 sure if i'll get a lot of wear out of it i do think so but I, I still want to try it out first with like you know a good quality that's like mid price range all right this next package is from 24s.com and it's another loafer because i told you guys i I'm not giving up and this one is from Isabel Moran so you get it with this dust bag and okay okay let's see let's see let's see let's see okay I'm not convinced right away you can see in my face so that's why I love doing these videos because you can see like my reaction right away I can't camouflage it but what i loved about these ones on the website is the little tassels that it has it's like 
I think that's super cute. Like that's another like classic thing that you get with loafers. I don't know what it is though that I don't like. I'll have to try them on and then put them side by side with the other ones and see. But yeah, I got this in a size 36. And these ones are, of course, full leather as well. But yeah, I think it's the leather maybe. It's not as shiny. I don't know. But once we try them out, we'll, we'll you know, we'll sort this out. Again, this is Reformation. Both sides on. I don't know. What do you guys think? They do look cute though. I do like them. And then here we go. These are the Isabel Morants again with both shoes on so you can see a little bit better. But yeah. Also very cute. <laughs> All right, so I'm definitely more confused now. <laughs> on this feet I have, or in this foot, I have the Reformation one, and this one is Isabel Moran. I'm so glad I made this video because you guys will have to help me on this one. On the one hand, this one is very snug. Like I said, I got it in a size five, and I'm usually at 36. But you can see that I can, and the, the shoes fart a little bit, I don't know why. Wait. <laughs> but I can easily put my feet in and out. So I think that with time, especially when I walk a lot, they will stretch out because they are leather. And for this one, I can't really do that. So it's, it's a 36, but the way that the shoes are made, they don't slip in and out of your feet like that. So they are very secured. What I love about these ones is that you can see the, I don't know how to call this, but it's wider at my toes area. So at like really the foot area. This one is a narrower, so the it's also a little bit pointier, you can see as well. So this one is a little bit more chunkier and more, I would say a little bit more trendy. This one is a little bit more of that classic style, even though it has like the chunky sole. So that's like the biggest difference I would say and of course also the, the tassels on the Isabel Moran one. And also this one comes up a little bit higher on the feet, on the foot in comparison to this one. And this one, the flap right here is a little bit crooked. <laughs> I'm really like paying attention to the details right now because I really want to figure this out. So this is like... I'm leaning a little bit more towards this one from Isabel Moran. But then again, I look at the price, it's like almost 500. And the one from Todd's that I tried out is also in the same price range. So I'm like, do I want to spend this amount? I don't know. I'm not sure you guys. I'm so confused. So you'll have to really help me out. And then these ones from our cat. These ones are just really a no-go because even though they are very comfortable, I don't, it's not giving. It's really not giving at all. What do you guys think? Let me know below which one would you go for or which one do you like on my feet the best. And by the way, you can see with these ones from Arquette as well, they pretty much slide off of my my foot. So when I walk, these will definitely stretch out. I have experience with like loafers from Saint Laurent and those stretched out so much that I couldn't like even wear them anymore. And that's like, I don't want that because those shoes were still in like very good condition, but because they were, they became so big for me that when I walked, they, they slide off. So I don't want that to happen this time. So yeah. Okay. This is the last 
package that I have. It's from Netta Porter and Netta Porte. I don't know 100% how you pronounce it, but it's a handbag and I already know that I have to return it. Let me let me explain. Let me open this up and I'll explain. Okay, this brand gets like a thousand points for the packaging. This is from um, Alaya and it's a hard bag, you guys. So much padding. Yeah, you can see the dust bag. And this is the cute little one bag. It is very cute. It is super cute. But okay, so this is the this is the thing, right? I was on a hunt for a brown handbag and last weekend I went to the city center in the, in the Amsterdam and just to try them out because I was of course I was on the on the lookout for a luxury handbag and I don't like to really buy luxury like a very high ticketed uh, item I like that on online I don't know what it is I don't buy a lot of luxury handbags so whenever I buy one I want like the full experience I want to go in I want to have my glass of champagne you know those are the things that, that's why, why you pay so much for these handbags because it's all of these things that go along with it it's not just the handbag because to just make the handbag it's not going to cost you two thousand three thousand you know so they charge you for all of that the marketing the whole shebang so that's why i went like you know to to try them out firstly to see what are the things that i'm loving the things that i don't really like because sometimes you see the handbag on other people online and you think it looks beautiful but then when you see it on yourself you're like mm -mm. so that's what i did and i fell in love with this handbag maybe you already saw the unboxing but it's the celine box handbag it's like the classic box handbag so this one was also one of the contenders i had like five different handbags that i want to try but the moment i put the celine on i knew i knew that handbag was for me it's like that classic timeless kind of handbag that will go with you for like 30 40 years you can pass it down things like that this handbag though like when i see it right here it is a very very beautiful handbag i cannot lie the leather is beautiful and soft but i think this is a very trendy handbag i mean i i'm still thinking of getting this exact same handbag in red because i think that would be iconic like to have like a red heart-shaped handbag i saw it on this girl i'll i'll link it or i'll insert a picture because i i think that looked beautiful but it's not like i was looking for a more not an everyday kind of handbag but something that i can wear for multiple occasions that looks very timeless and this doesn't really fit the bill but still i you know when you see something and it, it stays in your mind that's why i ordered this because i still wanted to look at it feel it smell it all the things to try to convince not to convince myself but to i don't know just uh, confirm uh, for myself that this is not it this is not the one so now that i see it i think still it's like a super cute super well made handbag it's just that it's not what i'm looking for at the moment if you're looking for something fun and cute and that's a little bit trendy but still can be very timeless i'm like contradicting myself at the, you know at multiple ways right now but still i would say i would recommend you to get this one in the red because that's actually what i'm thinking about i think that would be super cute and it's just a very playful handbag it fits let me see if my phone fits in here mm. it can fit and i have the iphone 11 pro max so that's like a pretty big phone and it fits but i don't know if you can fit um, many other things along with the phone so 
yeah i think it this is a very cute 100 uh, if i had like all my basics covered when it comes to my handbags i would definitely keep this one but just for now i think the celine has already has a special place in my heart <laughs> this handbag by the way comes in at 890 euros so for a luxury house this is absolutely a very good price if we want to get like a luxury handbag at you know below a thousand euros or dollars definitely you know look into this and what i also love about this brand is that if you're a fan of rihanna she has been really rocking this brand so there you go <laughs> all right this little handbag right here is really growing on me you know now that i wore it and just it's a beautiful color i'm not gonna lie and i love that it has like minimal branding it you know if you even turn it on this side you won't see anything at all it has silver hardware not a lot of hardware just a zipper and also the little alaya stamp which is like not my preference i love gold uh way more than silver and also the strap is it's a little flimsy however not in a irritating way but sometimes you want something a little bit more substantial but because this is a cute little handbag i don't think that would really you know dig in or anything you like dig in your shoulders the zippers are very subtle as well so you it's e it's an easy bag to get in and out of so yeah like again this is really growing on me so i'm really thinking to get the red one but i'm not sure not this month maybe next month we'll see because the quota for this month is it's done like there is no more shopping for this month. <laughs>